really crazy right now. A year into the pandemic and there's still lockdowns, you can't play your sport, graduation's canceled, online school that you hate, rolling from your bed to your screen and then back to your bed, you can't eat at your favorite restaurant, you just can't walk around and kick it in the mall with your friends, your parents still have a ton of COVID anxiety and won't leave you alone about where you've been, and you're just bored in the house bored. So if you're getting addicted to your PS5 or your Xbox, you've been feeling more irritable and down, you feel like you want to strangle your parents or your siblings because everyone's just in the house getting on each other's last nerve and you're probably starting to smoke too much weed, this message is for you. I'm a clinical psychologist. In the next 30 seconds, I'm going to share with you a single but very important tip that will help get you through this. You ready for it? Do something. That might sound really invalidating when everything in your mind and your body says do nothing right now or when there are so many restrictions around you that you feel like doing something might just be impossible. And our mood doesn't have to happen to us. We have more control over it than you think. Our mood's directly connected to the number of things we do each day that fit with what we value. So my challenge to you is to think about one thing you can start doing today that might fit that bill. If you need more help with this, think about what you might do in these four categories, okay? One, do something physical. Get outside and play a sport in your driveway. Drop and do 20 push-ups in your living room. Take the dog for a walk. Take a walk up and down the stairs of your building. Get something physical in today. It releases something called endorphins in our bodies. Those are your body's happy hormones and will help buffer you from feeling more miserable. Two, do something social. Call up someone right now that you haven't spoken to in a while. Snap someone or start a new streak. Like something a friend posted on IG. We're all social beings. We're wired that way to help with survival. It isn't natural for you to be alone. That doesn't mean that you should go and violate all of the COVID rules. Be responsible, but be social. Three, do something fun. I don't know what you like, but if you don't know what you like either, now we have a problem. You might have gotten so far away from that feeling of enjoyment that it's like a stranger to you now. Reconnect with it. What used to bring you joy? Reconnect with it. Four, do something to build up mastery. Practice something and get better at it. It'll give you a sense of immediate purpose. It'll help give you something to hang your hat on. And it can feel really good. Pick up an instrument. Go practice at the skate park. Fix that broke jump shot. It'll give you a sense of accomplishment. Okay, so I hope that gets us started. We'll be posting more tips and tricks. And if you're still feeling stressed out behind all of this and you're looking for more resources, Check out our website at Strong Mind, Strong Kids to learn more. Every week is Mental Health Week for us, and we're here to help promote mental health, mental well-being. So take good care of yourself for now.